quite low growth may be a function of both what has happened internationally and what has happened with our policies. The macroeconomic picture of India today is the best I've ever seen. At the same time, the decline in growth is quite disturbing. They have stayed to fiscal consolidation with a fiscal deficit at approximately 3.9% of GDP. And I think they have succeeded. They have sacrificed inflation in order for there to be credibility with their policies. The big question is whether inflation is on a strongly divergent uh, downward path. And secondly, that whether over the next six months, this encourages much steeper rate cuts than anybody else is thinking about. There is this belief in India that fiscal deficits cause inflation. The open challenge, as I then wrote to the RBI, to whoever is willing to take up that challenge, is to show me where in the Indian context has the size of the fiscal deficit affected the size of inflation. Or, for that matter, any economy in the world. The evidence does not exist. However, that does not mean you should not control the fiscal deficit. You should control the fiscal deficit for crony capitalism, or what I call crony socialism. You increase government expenditures, which have really no basis, they are wasteful, and they are corrupt, and that should be cut.